Ancient Egypt is a place that continues to amaze and astound people even today. And it's not hard to see why, as it was at one time one of the focal points of history and had various entities and cultures either going through it or at war with it. The fact of the matter is that we still know very little about the overall history of Egypt because it's been buried by the sands of time. As a result, some of the things that we find were buried are historic and sometimes they're just a little bit freaky. With all of that in mind, here now are the 20 most incredible finds in Egypt that scare scientists. Number 20. Ancient Temple Remains I'm going to start with a finding that was freaky in the scientific sense, but what does that really mean? Well, as noted before, a lot of findings that are discovered in Egypt were only uncovered because of some serious excavation and the ability to literally move a whole lot of sand and it has freaked people out over the years just how much is buried in that sand. For example, back in 2022, in a place known as Kaf el Sheik, an ancient temple would be unearthed out of the sand. People were astounded by the discovery, and the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities noted that at the time they were determined to not only learn more about the temple, but to see the roots of its architecture and more about the period in which it was constructed. You can tell a whole lot of things by how something is built, after all. The region that the temple was found in was used to be a place of great significance in what was formerly known as Lower Egypt, and by that I mean that long before Egypt was a unified empire, it did have fractured states and one of them was dubbed Lower Egypt, with its capital being Bhutto. The temple may have been tied to that time period, and that got a whole lot of people curious, especially if it was tied to a certain dynasty. No matter when it was built, it is a place of huge significance, because it's yet another one that's been found in Egypt, and has survived for potentially thousands of years, still mostly intact along with a few various artifacts and architecture to find and look into. That's why archaeology is still quite popular in Egypt, despite King Tut having been found a long time ago. There's almost always something else found in the sand, you just need to be willing to dig it out. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. As I said before, there's almost always something to find in the sands of Egypt. The problem is always going to come with trying to interrupt your findings and help prove that they're accurate to not only know what you're looking at, but what history has said happened before. These artifacts can sometimes shift entire timelines of what we've perceived to be fact, even though it's honestly just guesswork based on what has been found. Now, I told you all of that because if you look at this picture, you're going to see something that seems to be a regular archaeologist doing nothing more than looking over a mummified body that was pulled out of the ground or a tomb in Egypt, right? But that's where this wrinkle comes into play. Because according to the story that's attached to the picture, this body was found in the legendary Valley of the Kings, and they claim the body itself dates back to over 800,000 years. In other words, it's a tomb of 800,000 year old king found in Egypt, and people are freaking out about whether or not it's real. Should it be real, the importance of it cannot be overstated. Not only would it be completely rewriting human history once again, it would also detail a period of time where information was preciously scarce. The thing that this could potentially override is when humanity had civilization enough to have a king and what ancient Africa was like, and that's a big deal if it's true. Now, if you can't tell, I'm not exactly sold on this and for various reasons. First off, a body surviving 800,000 years is not only a feat that would be almost an impossibility unless it was very well preserved, but second, dating of things like bodies has been known to be skewed in the past, so you can't just take a person's word for it that they were from way back when. Finally, this would fundamentally rewrite history on a grand scale, and since no one is making such claims, you have to take it with a huge grain of salt. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic, and let me know what you think about what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. The Screaming Mummy Getting back to reality, we'll now talk about something that's happened in Egypt many times over, and it's freaky every single time that you find out about it. 
This story begins in Egypt in a certain special hiding place that was created in past dynasties of the Egyptian Empire by the priests who wanted nothing more than to protect the bodies of their rulers from grave robbers. It's important to remember that the ancient Egyptians didn't only bury their dead, they also buried a lot of treasures and trinkets and items that they felt would help them when they got to the afterlife. That's why many places, including the pyramids, were constructed to keep grave robbers out and the bodies to be kept in peace. But in 1881, this secret place was found, and in it they found several mummies. That alone would not be a scary situation, but when they looked at one of them, it appeared to be in the process of screaming. There are pictures to prove it, and that is a screaming mummy, and then they found a female screaming mummy in addition. The male was actually the son of Ramses III, who had died after being caught in a plot to overthrow his father, and the female is still a bit of a mystery. Yet she had that same screaming pose as the young son. So why did both of them go screaming into the afterlife? For the male, it may have been due to the way that he died via taking his own life and then wasn't properly mummified, which allowed the mouth to relax after death and thus it went into the screaming position. But for the woman, hers was actually caused by her death, which many presumed to have been a heart attack. This led to her dying suddenly and her body being rigid before she was discovered, and so her pose would lead to her being mummified in the screaming position. In other words, how you die and how you're preserved will definitely affect what you look like when you're found. Number 18. The Black Sarcophagus if I were to tell you right now to picture an Egyptian sarcophagus, you would probably imagine that that would be pretty easy to do. I mean, after all, you've seen plenty of them via TV shows and pictures, and perhaps history class from school. They're often brightly colored and have a human face on them and they're meant to be a wonderful final resting place for the people who are entombed inside. However, in Alexandria, one of the most freaky tombs ever would be discovered in 2018. Dating the sarcophagus, it was said to have been around 300 BC. That would place it around the time of Alexander the Great. Yet what the sarcophagus was and was not, well, that's something that nobody could have expected. First off, the thing was pure black, made out of black granite. And that's not how they're supposed to be in any kind of way. In fact, people were so startled when they heard of such a thing that they'd actually wondered if there was an actual curse upon it and then begged for it not to be opened. As you can imagine, it was opened anyway. And when it was, there was another shock to be found. Traditionally, sarcophagi are meant to house one body. That's just part of the point. They're built to house a single individual for their journey to the afterlife. However, this one had three bodies inside, which seemed very odd to scientists. Equally as odd is what happened to those bodies. Based on the wounds that were found, they appeared to have died in battle, as one of them had a clear arrow wound on his frame. Yet none of it clears up the mystery of the sarcophagus itself. Why were there a set of soldiers, or even just people, put inside of the thing? Why was it so big? So big, in fact, that it was the largest sarcophagus ever. And why was it pure black and made of granite? And why were three soldiers placed into one tomb without any adornments or anything of the traditional burial sense? Nobody knows, and that's what keeps it a mystery even today. Number 17. Pregnant Mummy Another reason that we sometimes need to dig up the past is that if you take it at face value, you're not going to learn the truth inside. For example, there was once a sarcophagus found that claimed to house a male priest, and it was even labeled as such, but when scientists actually had a look inside of the coffin, that's when they found that not only was the mummy inside of it female, but that mummy was actually pregnant. This is significant for a whole various load of reasons, not the least of which is that this is the only female mummy in history so far that has been found to have been both pregnant and mummified. And based on the analysis of the body, she was in her mid-twenties to early thirties, and possibly even up to 30 weeks pregnant at the time, meaning that she was in the later stages of pregnancy and would have been a decent-sized stomach-wise when she was mummified. No one is really sure how the mummy woman died, but there are some theories that it could have been due to the child that was inside. As they noted at the time, childbirth was a killer of many women for that time period, and if there was a complication before birth, it would have likely been a situation where there was no ability to have medical intervention, and she simply would have lost her life. Number 16. The Oldest Tattoo 
Now this one isn't so scary in that it's meant to terrify you, but it is just a little bit odd to learn that an entirely different culture might have been doing things like tattoo art long before it was believed to have been invented. This took place in 2018 when not one but two mummies were not only found, but they were also discovered to have tattoos on their upper arms. One was of a bull and another was of a sheep. One of them we think represents a Barbary sheep and the other one a bull. This matters a whole heck of a lot because, not unlike other things that I've talked about, this completely shifted the timeline for when tattooing was believed to have begun in Africa. For context, before these mummies were discovered, it was believed to have happened a thousand years later than what can now be confirmed that it did. Furthermore, it was believed that only women of that time period were getting tattoos, but we now know that the men were receiving them as well. So why did they have them in the first place? Well, that's just simply another mystery that many people would love to solve. Some feel that it may have been used as a status symbol, while others feel that it could have been tied to gods or magic of the kingdom at the time. No matter how you look at it, a simple tattoo helped to reshape history, and who would have thought it? Number 15. Wooden Coffins Giving you yet another reason for why people are still digging things up in Egypt, Back in 2019 in the city of Luxor, a finding so grandiose astounded everyone who discovered it. That's where they found 30 wooden coffins, and it was such an unexpected finding that a certain minister even called it the find of the century. Why did they say it was the find of the century? Well, that's because to find such a large cache of human remains like this, referencing the coffins, had not been done in almost two centuries. Typically, they're found in small batches like one or two, but 30 wooden coffins is something special. The intricately carved and painted 3,000-year-old coffins were closed with mummies inside and were in good condition based on all accounts. They were for male and female priests and children, and apparently the latest one is said to have been dated to around 1000 BC. To provide more context on this, by finding mummies of this nature, scientists can look into their deaths and learn more about their lives, which also learning more about the period that they lived in. Every single body that's found has a story, so when you find 30 of them in the same place at once, that is a whole lot of stories to tell. Number 14. Board Game of Death the ancient Egyptians were not above playing games. In fact, they were a very competitive culture, so having something like a board game to play with others was almost natural for them. The game that they just loved to play more than others was called Senate, and it was pretty simple. Players would move certain pawns across the board after dice rolls, and the spaces that they would land on were blank, save for the last few. This is where things get weird. To this day, the symbols at the end of the board have never fully been deciphered, and it is quite the curious thing. However, as time has gone on, Senate has taken on a life of its own in the Egyptian culture, to the point where it soon became a game that loved ones would get closer to their lost one within the afterlife with. It even became known by some as the board game of death. Eventually, Egyptians stopped playing the game, whether it was because it fell out of popularity or people not wanting to mess with the afterlife, it all remains a bit of a debate. Number 13. Mothers and Children While the Egyptians have been revered for their mummification processes over the years, it doesn't mean that all of their secrets or insights into why they've done what they've done have ever been revealed. In the case of a big finding in Aswan back in 2019, archaeologists discovered dozens of mummified bodies within a certain tomb. That alone would be freaky within its own right, but that's what's really perplexing the layout and state of many of the bodies. For example, when they initially opened up the tomb, they only discovered four bodies, which would be typical for a tomb like this, but then they began to explore the other rooms, and that's when they discovered 31 more. That's not all. Some of the bodies found were children, and they seemed to be shoved into the recess of a certain room, which is not exactly how the Egyptians were known for doing things. One duo of bodies seemed to be of mother and child, and they seem to have been buried together. A large quantity of the bodies were also not very well preserved, which seems to contrast the careful actions of ancient Egyptians and what they did to preserve bodies. And so, it all begs the question of what actually happened to them and why they were put into such a place like this. Number 12. 
The Book of the Dead As I've outlined before, Egyptians have not only garnered a respect for the dead and the afterlife, but they honestly revere it. They've gone to great lengths for both royalty and the common man at times in order to ensure that no matter where they are in the afterlife, they've preserved, protected, and are well off. So when you hear that the Egyptians had a book of the dead that might not seem odd at all, but what's freaky is that in 2023, a tomb discovery recovered a 16 meter long scroll that was a copy of this book of the dead and it was in remarkable condition. The 10 images that show ancient illustrations of gods and scenes from the afterlife, as well as the text on the document, which is more than 2,000 years old. The scroll was found buried inside of a coffin alongside of a mummy, and the belief is that they were put with people so that they could be guided into the afterlife no matter where they landed. Believe it or not, there were even longer books of the dead that were discovered in Egypt, including one that was over 30 meters long. Number 11. Necropolis While Egyptians did have many ways to bury their dead, a common thing that's often found within the ancient land is a necropolis. This land of the dead is where many bodies are stored, and each has a history all of their own. In 2018, one such place would be discovered, and it had 27 sarcophagus within it that dated back 2,700 years ago. At first, only 13 of these coffins would be found, but then another 14 were unearthed, growing the curiosity over what could be discovered inside. Images showed colorfully painted and well-preserved wooden coffins amongst other smaller artifacts. Saqqara, where everything was found, was an active burial ground for more than 3,000 years and is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. They had initially kept the findings a secret, in case there were more secrets to be discovered. They then worked on studying the necropolis where they were discovered so that they could potentially learn more about the origins of everything inside. Like I said, everybody has a story to tell. Number 10. Queen Nefertiti's Mummy for some archaeologists, the freakiest thing about the ancient world is that we don't have the remains of every major figure that once existed. Sometimes that's impossible because of circumstance, but for places like Egypt, where every major ruler was buried in a proper way, it's curious to them that some have never been found. One such mystery revolved around Queen Nefertiti's mummy. She was one of the most prominent female rulers of the ancient Egyptian world, and yet her body remained undiscovered for countless numbers of centuries. That is, until 2022, when a prominent archaeologist believed that they had finally found Queen Nefertiti's mummy. Whether they have or not, well, that is actually still up for debate but it's clear that he believes that they did in fact find it. If it's true, it would open up brand new insights into not only her death, but the period of time in which she reigned. And if she was found in a certain place, it could lead to other nearby discoveries. Number 9. Severed Hands Now I know that I haven't really done truly freaky findings in each entry, but this one is definitely something that may scare some people. There was an ancient Egyptian palace discovered in 2012 that had a pit inside of it, and inside of that pit were a bunch of severed hands. Some of these pits were found in a throne room within the ancient city of Avaris, and in total, over a dozen hands were found, and all of them were right hands. So that leaves the question, why were they taking the right hands of people? The answer is actually kind of simple. In a period of time 3,600 years ago, there was a kind of bounty system going on. Soldiers would present the right hand of an enemy in return for some gold. It is a little bit of a gruesome way to make money, but it was there nonetheless. One can only wonder how many of these pits exist all throughout the land. Number 8. Pyramid of Giza Chamber There are plenty of freaky things going on in the ancient pyramids of Giza. These are some of the wonders of the world, and we still don't even fully know how they were built or everything that's inside of them. Case in point, in 2023, scientists believe that they had unearthed what might have been a secret chamber inside of the pyramids of Giza. It was about 10 meters long, and a lot of people wondered if it could actually lead to a whole lot of secrets being unearthed within the pyramid itself. That also includes the possibility of finding another burial chamber that the pharaohs could have had someone else buried in. 
Until there is much more of a deep dive into the chamber, we may never know, but it just makes you wonder what else could be inside of these mysterious structures. Number 7. An Escape Tunnel Remember when I talked about ancient mysteries that Egyptians are still trying to solve? Well, what happened to Cleopatra's body is one of those mysteries. We know that she did take her own life in order to avoid being captured by a certain Roman foe, as that would have resulted in her being dragged around Rome in a victory lap of sorts. But what happened to her body after that has never actually been proven, nor has she ever actually been found. Fast forward to 2022, and an archaeologist found an ancient religious center that not only had all kinds of artifacts, some of which tie back to Cleopatra, but she found a 30-meter long tunnel that may have been used as an escape route to try and get her body out of the country. The tunnel itself apparently led to the Mediterranean Sea and various structures that were eventually buried underwater. The goal of the archaeologist was to find out what was inside of those structures and if Cleopatra is actually inside one of them. Number 6. The Shabti Dolls it should be widely accepted at this point that just about every major culture in the world at a certain point had a variation of dolls. The question always becomes, what were the dolls used for? For some, they were indeed playthings, and for others, like the Egyptians, they were used to mean something so much more. In the case of the Shabti dolls, they were special dolls that were put inside of the tomb of the dead as a kind of answer to the one who was in the afterlife. And if you're confused, well, many believe that the dolls were actually made to then be called by their new master into the afterlife, where they could then serve them. For example, there were some dolls that were clearly designed to be workers or bakers, so that the fallen could have help and food in the life beyond. Curiously, there are other variations of these dolls that don't have a clear purpose, widening the mystery of their true origins. Number 5. Priest Statue This is another thing that you can chalk up to being just plain freaky. If you have a look at this statue, it looks just a little bit too realistic. It is said to depict a chief lector priest in charge of reciting prayers for the deceased in temples and funerary chapels. But the question, and the clear mystery of this statue, is why was it made to look so lifelike? You have to remember, it's not in a coffin or a sarcophagus, which can sometimes have a lifelike face drawn or sculpted onto them, this was an incredibly accurate statue of a priest that was made and then placed inside of a tomb. Apparently, the statue is being hailed as one of the great wonders of the Old Kingdom, and it's actually revered for its beautiful artistry. Number 4. Tomb KV-5 Even by Egyptian standards, there are tombs that are vastly larger than one would expect to find. The place known as Tomb KV-5 is a perfect example of that, as it is the largest tomb ever discovered in ancient Egypt. The Tomb KV-5 is located only 70 meters from the tomb of King Tut, and its existence had been known for about over a century, but the location had remained elusive for quite a while. Then, when it was found, it was a very scary thing that they discovered inside. The reason the tomb was so big was that dozens of children from the great pharaoh Ramses II were buried in the tomb, and that's right, the pharaoh needed that large of a tomb to bury all of his children who had died before him. It is grim, to say the least. Number 3. King Tut's Daughters Now, we're not going to get any less grim with this one, because now we're going to show you a tragedy that occurred inside of King Tut's tomb. To be honest, there are many mysteries in that tomb that are still remaining unanswered. But when a wider search of his tomb would be conducted, that's when they found the mummified remains of two young girls. Naturally, they had wondered why such entities would be inside the tomb of a great pharaoh. And after some DNA testing, it was discovered that they were related to King Tut and were likely his daughters. Sadly though, they never lived a full life because they were stillborn. You also need to recall that King Tut did die young, and was young to begin with, so this family did not have the best of luck in the end. Number 2. Crazy Rich Young Mummies Back in 2020, a special mummy would be discovered that really turned people's heads. Specifically, they found a female mummy who was no more than 16 years old, and she lived in the period of 1500 BC. 
That alone would not be so scary, but when they opened up the tomb, that's when they found that she was basically buried alongside of a treasure trove. She was laid to rest while wearing two spiral earrings that appeared to be plated with copper leaf, a bone ring, a ring made of blue glass, and four necklaces that were linked together by a glazed ceramic clip. The term ornate would be used to describe the treasures that she was buried with, and she was also buried next to some leather balls and mummified cats. This is not a joke, and it's actually a real thing. Number 1. Mummified Lion Cubs Egyptians weren't just obsessed with having wealth in the afterlife, they were more than happy with being buried next to animals that they wanted to cross over with them into the next existence. In 2019, a tomb was discovered that had not only mummified lion cubs, but regular cats, a few crocodiles, and more. Even by archaeological standards, this was an odd finding, and it showcased just how far the ancient Egyptians were willing to go to have company be with them in the life beyond. But please, don't try and do this with your pets or other animals when you die. It's just plain creepy and weird. That's all from the realm of Egypt and the findings that have been made that have honestly freaked people out at times. Which of these discoveries gave you a few chills when you heard about them? And which ones did you find to be not scary at all? Perhaps you think of a better creepy discovery that could be well included on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next.